Ah, a familiar sky. At least it feels familiar to me. It's probably the same sky every single day, isn't it? Anyway, we are here at Leesport, rounding out kind of the summer months. It is September now. We're now into September. Uh, this is, I think, the, the last... Uh, well, it's, it's still Labor Day week, I should say. So, it is Labor Day week. I don't know if things will change next time. Oh, wow. So I pulled in, you can't see it, but that car over there was the last one in line, and in a matter of two minutes, there's now another eight or ten cars. Huh. Anyway, let's find some treasure, and we're going to sell some treasure. Let's do it. Harvesting cigars. It's yeah, yeah, a cigar box. Can you do that? Can you write on the, the street like that? Not really a street. I, I don't know. I think it's the first time I've seen someone ever write on like the road like that. Alright. Picked up a Star Wars thing for a dollar. Let's, uh, let's jump over here. So you guys already know the deal. So on that whole side, I did do a little recording, but it's so dark that it's like it looks so awful. Um, so I'm not going to include that. There has to be 25 spots, maybe 15 in a row that there's no cones and there's no one there. So those are spots that seasoned vendors have forego in the later months of the year. Um, so they're available to anyone, but I like setting up in that, they call it the triangle. But it's that time of the year, I guess. Figure I'd show you a spot anyway, but yeah. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and it just keeps going on and on. And then you got empty spots over there, and then between that white car and then that gray car, there's no one over there. I think they're trying to park people out here to try to fill this in. So I'm playing the long game. Pretty cool, you don't really see them this large. Usually they're probably only a third of the size.
All right, so I got a couple things out and about. Um, hmm. It's going to be a very quick day. Today is, I want to say, the last day of this heat wave that we had, but it's the second to last day. And uh, I think it's going to be a short crowd. Everyone's going to get here in the morning. It's not going to be a huge rush, but by 9 o'clock, be done with. Another thing is, we... Uh, we're now in the time of the year where everyone's at school and this is a midweek flea market it's not a weekend so a lot of people are probably not here is what i'm getting at all right it's also a little bit later in the day so not seeing as many vendors yet wouldn't be a cause for concern but I don't think it's gonna fill in. I feel like I do a lot of talking in my videos. It's very interesting. The uh, the grass is cut like really weird. And they've always done it this way. You guys might be able to see it, but it's like really short here and then it's really long there. I mean, those are my tire marks. That's why it looks pat down, but it's gotta be like three inches or four inches tall over there. Why wouldn't they just cut all the grass the same? But maybe it kills the grass? Hold on, rather, it's kind of like playing sports. You'd rather be on the, the short grass rather than the tall grass. It goes for like everything, soccer, baseball, football, golf. I don't know why they want to cut it shorter. Maybe cutting cost, I don't, I have no idea. Oh, I gotta go. It's box truck's line. Box truck guy used to always say, Oh, I gotta go. Good stuff, cheap. I think that's what Ollie says. Or he say, Good stuff, cheap. Don't say, Oh, I gotta go. I'm trying to remember how much I made from bowl wrap today. The issue I have here is yesterday I went to the place and got bowl wrap and these mailers, and I spent $350. The most I've ever spent because they raised the prices probably about two months ago. So, it, it, it adds up, I'll just say that. Um, so I'll probably make at least double that. This guy over here keeps yelling too. I, I can tell the heat's starting to get to him. Actually, took a, probably 20 for myself of these. These look like good t-shirt size. They usually don't have them. Um, see what's wrong. Oh yeah, you got the padding too. All right, perfect, thank you. The pink one's anti-static if you need that for anything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the best, yeah. Okay. Let's see if he buys it. Always oh, right there. This thing's going to fit in a Prius. This has to be like. He's not fit. He could fit this. I don't. He's a vendor. I don't know. I feel like if you're a vendor and you're buying that, like you gotta, you gotta be able to sell stuff. Why don't you just buy the smaller ones? How's it going? Alright. Oh, it's
Two. All right, six bucks. You want a bag or? No. Oh. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. These stamps I thought would be a great idea. They were not. I've learned a lot about stamps from buying this. So I guess it was kind of a $20 knowledge lesson, but I sold them for $3 a piece today. And I sold two. So, yeah. I think because it's so hot, I told a couple people who looked at it, give me 30 bucks for all of them. I think because it's so hot. How's it going? Anything on, I'll do two bucks on anything on the table. Let's uh, spectate this park job here. That one's way off. This one's... I don't know what's going on. They all got dents in them, but no one's in them. Interesting. All right, I made it to Russell Stouffer, I think that's what this place is. It's a chocolate place. I don't know if it's an outlet store or if it's just like their store front. But uh, friends, Renee and Todd from Rat Stash on YouTube went here and made a video on it. I was like, you know what? It's literally on the way home. Actually, I stop over at, not Red Robins. That's Advance Auto Park. Oh, there it is. Dunkin' Donuts down there. I get my iced coffee for the ride home, and it's in the same complex. So I thought it was really cool. It's apparently an outlet store. Everything's really discounted. At least that's what they made out to see. Uh, I don't know if it's, if it's just a room or if it's actually the whole store, but we'll check it out. I think the outlet stuff is back here, sir. Oopsie section. I think they call them bloopers. These are, they were $80, now they're 24. Three pounds of chocolate, buy one, get one free. Like you see, this stuff is from Easter. Apparently everything, like all this stuff is still good from what I've been able to tell. Uh, it was originally six bucks, now it's three dollars. But you see it's Easter stuff. It's good for a year. This is a dollar twenty-four for the small ones. These are only 70 cents. They were originally a dollar eighty. I'm not like a huge person on this stuff. These are only 60 cents. Valentine stuff. I remember just saying something about these big hearts. What are they? Holy smokes, almost knocked it all over. There's no price. Originally 46, now 23. They're really large. Like the ones you see in the store are usually like these size. They're much larger than that size. I'm showing you guys like it really matters to people. It's a lot of chocolate. Kind of tempted to buy something just because I'm here, but I'm literally just going to just eat it. Not a sugar free stuff, we don't want that. That stuff, that's no good. I don't think I need to buy one, get one free. What is a blooper? Sometimes candies are created in our kitchens that are slightly less than perfect looking. Yeah, so it's candy, but you know, like the drizzle didn't come out the right way or whatever. Take that, you want to take it. Um, maybe it's half chocolate and half like dark chocolate something weird um, 
was it like this what like do they sell them somewhere that's like twenty eight dollars was this twenty eight dollar business like what do you mean twenty eight did you tell me they sell these at the store do they I don't know I'm not that familiar with it I'm feeling like they only sell them here so are they twenty eight dollars here and they're now that I'm discounted or or what I wonder what it is. Wait a second. Best before March 1st, 2023. Uh, best before April 1st, 2023. So they are expired. It's 2023. So now I'm in a pickle here. You see how these are $28 each? It's the same thing, but they're not expired. So I'm thinking this has gone really off it. These $28 ones are probably just good for this year. Ah, oh, that's, I get it. These are, how bad could it really be? How bad could chocolate really be? When I cross out barcode, probably so you know that these go over here and those go over there if you're not following along right now these are $28 they expire a year from now these are $14 they're already expired how bad can expired candy be I don't know so I don't know my curiosity is confirmed the reason why these are cheaper is because they expired but I'm gonna get it because I really just I'm more curious about what they even look like Ooh, ice cream all right, I'm gonna man my word. I will show you guys what this is. I can smell it. Moment of truth. Holy, some are smashed and everything. Yeah, she just eat around the smashed ones. I'll just throw away this. They're probably still all right. Those might be coconut, which I don't even like. So that's wow, that's a lot of chocolate in there. It's two layers. If you think that's just it, no, there's like literally two layers of that. All right, now everyone sees it. Now you don't have to spend $14. If you want to, you could. But now you see it. Man, the people. All right, so uh, I didn't make it back. I've been back for, I don't know, four hours or so. Um, it was so unbelievably hot today, so hot and so humid. I actually ran across a couple other subscribers who sell at the flea market that I sell at, um, and they stopped by, and they were coming back from uh, Lancaster, and you know we're good friends and, and whatnot, and they were saying, I don't know how you do this taco. I, I really don't. Um, it, it's, it was so nasty today because it was like very, very humid. It, it's like that day where it's 90 degrees, but it feels like it's like 110 uh, or worse, it is so brutal, like, and it's not supposed to rain, probably by the time this video comes out, it's going to rain, but it's not supposed to rain for, like, two or three days, so I don't know what's going to really kill this humidity, but it feels gross out, um, for some reason, I would say, honestly, this is probably the first day in quite some time where it's been really, really bad weather-wise, uh, hot, humid, and I have not felt sick or disgusting at all, I mean, I'm sweating, but, and a little clammy, but for some reason, I think, my body's gotten used to it. Of course, now it's the end of summer, so go figure, right? Uh, did have a successful day. I didn't document packing for the uh, packing the van for the flea market, but I'm telling you right now, literally my van was packed to the point where I could not fit one more item. I had like a nail keg I wanted to bring. I had no space at all to fit it. Uh, that's how much bubble wrap I did have. I had a handful of customers buy... One guy bought, I think, 12 rolls, and our one bought five. I realized if those people weren't there... I would be going home probably with like another 17 rolls of bubble wrap, which would make it feel like half the van is still filled. Um, but I'm only going home with, I think there's like six or so here. So probably would have a little bit, maybe 20 rolls. Um, so yeah, that kind of makes a big difference when you're selling stuff, especially stuff that takes up a lot of space. Um, also, another thing I noticed is like I've gotten older, but I still appreciate selling. I, when I was younger and doing this flea market stuff, I used to absolutely hate selling. I only like going to flea markets to buy. Um, but I think that personal connection you build with people and people feeling like they're getting a good deal and you're selling them a good deal and you're still making a profit um, kind of is, is great. And I think when with selling and selling kind of full-time or a lot more than you know usual, usual um, 
you kind of have that connection. So that was really cool. It's been fun. Thanks for tagging along. Uh, we'll see what happens with the next treasure hunt. I was planning on doing like a trash picking video from like this entire week. I've been out three times and uh, I was not able to make three separate videos. And I may make one video. So I'm still going to try to add them together and get one out of it. I got a couple more days left. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Labor Day really screwed me up this week. I'm telling you now. Uh, yeah. All right. That's enough babbling. Thanks for tagging along, everyone. It's been fun. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for going to Flea Mark with me. And uh, catch you guys next time. Next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. Be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.